Hello, how long it takes to cure anemia? That's the topic. In the previous videos, uh, we have explained about what is anemia, causes, treatments, everything. So here, how long it takes to you know, cure anemia? So first thing is, uh, what is the reason for anemia? That's we should know. The age of the patient and other diseases, like suppose chronic renal failure, kidney problem, or ulcerative colitis, or piles, especially piles, these things uh, all put together matters how long it takes to cure anemia. So most of the uh, 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 commonest cause for anemia is iron deficiency. Not only that, we have vitamin B12 deficiency, folic acid, and the nutrition part is also there. Not only that, the weight, uh, the blood loss from the body, either due to uh, monthly periods or excessive periods or uh, simply uh, bleeding piles. So uh, we should treat simultaneously these diseases also and if somebody has a chronic renal failure suppose the erythropoietin is a hormone which is needed for red cell production from the bone marrow suppose uh, that is very deficient even if you treat with uh, uh, iron and you know, nutrition everything the bone marrow is not stimulated with the erythropoietin hormone so RBCs or the hemoglobin will not rise so generally uh, it takes two days to uh, produce a red blood cell RBC uh, and every day almost every day 2 million cells are, are RBCs are produced in the body such an active system and uh, uh, you know uh, these RBCs the red blood cells they live up to 115 to 120 days roughly 4 months so these things we have to calculate plus how much of deficiency of iron or deficiency of vitamin B12 or uh, you know folic acid or suppose what is how much of bleeding excessive bleeding from the uterus or from the piles or from the ulcerative qualities these things we should calculate and we have to supplement suppose we start giving treatment generally you can see the results from two to three weeks but it's very important you know uh, uh, in spite of this treatment uh, supplements we should also treat the root cause for the anemia plus it's it's a bound duty of the patient we always tell every three months for the next two years they have to check the hemoglobin level because the hemoglobin will rise very fast then suppose it's all because of the excessive monthly periods so it will be rising the next monthly cycle it drops back again even in piles suppose they will be bleeding and the bleeding will stop because there is no blood because of the anemia but once the anemia is corrected the pile starts bleeding so again your hemoglobin from 7 grams goes to 10, 11 and drops back. So this is very very important they should know. So it is very important to check uh, the hemoglobin level uh, every 3 months for the next 2 years. Only after 2 years we can come to a conclusion okay we have uh, treated uh, 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 you know or corrected the anemia little efficiently. Because most of the people they check after 3 months and if usually it crosses 11 grams, 10 grams, then they will quit the treatment. That should not be done. Thank you.